Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Here we're playing Chess Pro 22657 from Canada. He's playing d4. I'm going to play knight f6. Let's see how he responds. Queen's Gambit, right? Isn't that? I don't know. I hmm. guess we'll find out. I have no idea how to respond to this properly. I wonder if like d5 was the play there. In the night perhaps. I want to get the bishop out to b4. Um, I think it's okay. <clears throat> yeah, the only thing that I don't like about playing this opening as black is that it always traps the light square bishop in. It's a bit unnatural. The light square bishop ends up having to come out to b7, which isn't the greatest. Okay, so I believe I can go knight e4 here. And then I think we get the fork. Uh, unless he brings his bishop out. Uh, I'm going to get so much hate in the comments section if I go 94. I can already feel it. I haven't even posted the video yet, but I can already feel the comments coming in. So 94, his bishop would have to come out. Ay, uh, the temptations, the temptations. <laughs> Just gonna have to, I don't know why I don't really want to go for it. <laughs> uh, check, pawn takes. <laughs> I'm okay with this. I'm okay with this. Probably a5, but it's such a bad square. Uh, thinking about going back to e7 here. I think a5 is just a really, really bad square for the bishop. Well, I don't know. It's spinning the pawn, but not like the pawn's a big threat or anything. Yeah, I'm not sure what the better spot... I don't know. There's like... Some decent options here. No, I think either a7 or a5 here. Um, a7's probably the safe bet. a7 is probably the more aggressive bet. I think I'm just going to play the safer move and the more principled move and bring a bishop down to the center. Keep the pieces centralized. So obviously he's setting up a battery here. I don't want to push uh, well, g4 
g6 is actually an option because then it'll allow my bishop to come back here on g7 if needed. But h6 is always an option too. The only problem with that is that I can't really castle kingside if I do that. So that's something I need to keep in mind. <laughs> His g2 square just became really weak. But I can't lose this pawn. I'm going to go g6 only because I can get my dark square bishop out onto g7 at some point. Okay. I almost want to castle kingside this game. Um, I kind of would like to just push up d5 here. What a bad opening as black. That's a really poor opening as black. Probably just go bishop b7 next. Gotta just scope this knight out. Uh, actually, no, I don't want to create open G files. <laughs> I'm gonna put my bishop there, but oh, actually, this is very interesting. All of a sudden, you want to trade skis? You made that move very fast. I'm okay with this. I have enough here to just trade off. I think I'm okay with this. Let's not pre-move that. Hmm. He does have the check there that I kind of ignored. I wonder if I go back and just try to develop the knight here. He gets his queen out here. Actually, I think I'm going to be worse off if he gets his queen to e4. Because if I move my knight... I'll have to move to a6 to protect the rook. Because if I go uh, c6, I'm just going to be losing a knight. I guess I could always go just d7. Hmm. I like the idea of trading the bishop off on c6 for some reason. I probably should have just taken with the pawn there. Hmm. C6 or just take and go D7. Uh, I think I'll just take it, whatever.
The rook is under attack, so I have to bring the knight out. I could also just play a. Could also just play pawn c6. Let's think about that. I don't really want a castle right now. That's a weird game. See, I want to leave the, the c7 pawn here in case I decide to castle queenside. I just want to have the option of, like, having some protection here. Knight d7 seems okay. It's either pawn c6 or knight d7. Knight d7 basically just to protect the rook here. I'm going to have a hard time. No. Uh, I'm going to go knight d7. I think it's okay. I think he's the strongest rated opponent I've ever played. He's going to push this pawn up and target uh, this rook here. It's pretty obvious. So I think I'll just play a more forcing move. I can either bring my bishop out here to f6. To prevent his push or i can just try to attack his queen um i kind of prefer the bishop move if i'm uh no i actually kind of well let me think about this no i think i'm just gonna play the more the more damning move and attack his queen he'll be forced to move back somewhere Really? Oh. I see. I see. I think he's trying to get me to block in with the queen so he can take the rook. Um. Move the knight back. Hmm. I think I'm just going to move the knight back. I don't want to move the queen here. Yeah, that was a really fast move. My knight's pinned. So he's going for the rook here. Uh, I think it's fine to just trade off here. So put the rook on the f file. It unpins the knight. I'm going to be losing a pawn here, though. He's going to move his queen out here to e6. Bit unfortunate. I have to protect the rook though. How can I do this? Uh, if I castle, I'm losing two pawns, right? Mm. I think I'm just going to castle. I don't want to get sniped. I'm losing I'm losing this F pawn here when he takes. I'm getting checked if he takes on F7. Yeah, I'm gonna be losing this E pawn, which sucks. Let's see. Knight b8, check. I have to move his queen runs away. So I think we just have to go for the even exchange here. Yeah, he's going to be up a pawn. It's a little bit rough, but... I have to block in with the rook here, which is kind of rough. Hmm. 
It's my only viable move. Bishop is attacking h8. Wow. Now he's spending no time at all on these moves. Um, my king is pinned. <laughs> uh, I could either trade off or attack his queen. What's he thinking here? I think he's just looking for mate on f7. So I have to take his knight. Yeah. Still pinned. He's up, up, up a pawn. He just has a much better position here. I don't really want to put a king on a, the king on the dark square in f8. Just offer this trade here. I know I'm offering trades when I'm down one point in material, but I just want to get rid of his threats around my king. Yeah, this is pretty rough. Oh boy. Um I'll offer the trade this way. I'm losing a pawn here. Rough. Man. He has not played one bad move. It's crazy. Fully expecting d8 here. I'll go protect. He lives up to his name. <laughs> I need to be careful about this pawn here. He still has 15 minutes on the clock. <laughs> it's pretty crazy. Yeah, this one's going to be really hard to win. I want to move the king towards the center of the board, but if I do, I'm just going to be losing pawns. So... If I go g7, I'm done.
I'm trying to figure out where this game went wrong. I'm trying to figure out what move it was. I'll have to think about it. It's got two attackers here. Kind of just want to try back rank mating him. I think I can bring my king up. I know he's going to trade rooks off here. Honestly, I'm just going to play the risk move here. Uh, I'm going to try to just look for the back rank mate. Um, this will force him to push a pawn up at least. Let me think about this. If I take, he takes check. Uh, I go g7, he can go g6, or uh, excuse me, b6. No, b7. Actually, I think the rook. Now, is the rook trade good here? I don't think the rook trade is good. Uh, well, I have back rank mate. Let's see if he notices it. I'm pretty sure he's going to notice it. I'll just go h3. If he doesn't notice it, I'll be shocked, honestly. Yeah, okay, so he does notice it. I can at least win a pawn here. Maybe. Uh, I should have went here. That was a mistake. I should have went a4. I got too excited there. I got way too excited there. He's going to be promoting. Yeah, a a4 was the move there. A4 was definitely the move. I don't want to lose this pawn. Yeah, I should have went A4. He'll be promoting this pawn pretty easily. I don't want to lose this pawn, that's my problem. Yeah, if I lose this H pawn, he's just going to promote. I think he's just promoting either way. But I guess I'll just inch my pawn closer. Oh uh, yeah, this, this is my H pawn. And then I can't take either of these. Ah. Oh, wow. He actually didn't take that. I'm really surprised about that. Oh, he just has mate here. <laughs> yeah, h7 is mate. Man, this guy played like a perfect game almost. Wild. H6? H6, and I can take the pawn. H6, he takes, I can take back. Right? So if I don't move my king, if I take this pawn, he has mate on H7. It's such a weird move, but I think it's the move. Oh, so he just takes and I lose. That was stupid. <laughs> I think that was losing either way, right? I don't think I could get out of this. I mean, I've never gotten my king trapped like this. It's very unique. Well, GG, I guess. Man, what a game. Man, I bet he had like 94% accuracy. He played so well. 88 Jeez. Man lives up to his name. Well, GG chess bro from Canada. Where did it go wrong? Let me look at the moves here. Moving the knight. Yeah, I should have recaptured with the pawn here. I was thinking he would trade off on d5. 
I was thinking he would do that, but even then, he's so much better here. Let, let me go back. I want to see something else. So this was a book move. That was good. The trade here was fine. Moving back to e7 was good. This was okay. What about h6? h6 would have been better. I see. I always hate playing g6. And sometimes I feel like it's necessary. Also, my opening was just very sloppy. It took me forever to like develop the pieces out. Hmm. This was a decent move. Man, this bishop move really threw me off. Get the knight out. Why though? Doesn't he just push up? It forces the knight to dance around. That's what I was expecting to happen. E5. Yeah, I should have taken with the pawn. It would have forced his uh would have forced his bishop back to d3 at least. But then what do I do here? I could have castled at this point. Okay. Bishop d5. Big mistake here. I didn't see queen c6 coming in. I, I just didn't see that check. That was a really tough check. Moving the king over to the f8. I wonder should I have taken here? Oh, no. <laughs> That's so bad. Really? Ah, right, because it loses a rook. Right, 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 right. Yeah, so really this one knight move, I would say, kind of cost the game. This was a really bad move. So what could I have played here? Just castles? Hmm. Just castling here. No. Bishop e4. Yeah, this knight f6 cost me the game because it gave him this really easy check. I was trying to be really principled about castling before attacking, but I figured just with the sort of batteries that he set up, I wasn't quite sure if I wanted to castle queenside at some point or still try to castle kingside, so that's why I was putting off castling. Um, yeah, it was in the back of my mind sort of the whole game, but moving the knight. Yeah, this move is pretty obvious here. Yeah, queen e6 was really good. This is a forced move. Surprised this was a great move. Hmm. Offering the trade on c8. Why is that so much better? He just had a big advantage here. I don't know. I will. I don't think I was going to be able to win. Oh, right, 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 right. Why didn't I take with the rook? Should have taken with the bishop there. Yeah. Well, I'm losing a pawn here. I think that's why I wanted to do it. Yeah. I lost basically two pawns after he got queen c6 out, and then I had a really hard time coming back after that. Rook b8. I was trying to look for a really trick uh, back rank mate, but... I mean, with the... And then I lost another pawn here. But with the way he was playing, he was just playing really good. I kind of had one chance here for him to blunder. I was hoping he would maybe try to attack this pawn blunder and then I would just have mate but I don't know he was playing a little bit too good to fall for something like that so I thought it was worth a try but oh it looks like c2 was the idea here I wonder what the engine says about a4 
3.48 versus 3.98. So A4 was a little bit better. I don't think it makes that much of a difference, but it kind of just prevented a A7 there. Rook C2. Uh, moving the rook back. Yeah, honestly, I just did not see this sequence coming. I did not see the sequence at all. I had to trade pawns off here. The I was just expecting to lose this H pawn here. I guess I would have gotten it back though. Yeah, there was still no chance that this pawn was going to cross the board. Let's be real. A3 was a blunder. That was a really strong move. I didn't see this coming at all. I was I was expecting him to take on h7 here. That's what I was expecting. I was thinking that the king would at least be able to get out, like bare minimum. But he basically smothered the king in on this h file here. It was really strong. h6. I think h6 was forced. It was... Let's see. It was mate either way, right? Yeah, he had mate in three. There was no way I was going to get around that. Yeah, there was nothing I could do here. Yeah, really tough game. Um, basically, it came down to one, the one move, the knight f6, and then it gave him the uh, queen c6 check here. And then from there, he was just able to kind of mop the floor. So yeah, really well played. GG Chess Pro 22657. Thanks guys for watching and see you in the next one. <laughs>